obviously the trade deadline officially in the review and instead of doing the traditional grades, which everyone does, and yep. in my opinion, is kind of boring, we're going to go off base style. And we are going to grade trades using emojis because Al Leiter's on the show. And no, I thought he would have No, you brought it up, it. and it's a fantastic idea. Thank and you. I like me can have fun with this, this stuff. This is why we have production meetings. So, Ariel, we're going to start with you. We're each going to review. We were saying one club. Some people really understood the assignment. I think they have a few clubs, which I respect. And you know what? You're our guest only, star on the show, so you can do whatever you want. Yep. Outlighter makes a special no, guest. Apparently, I can't follow directions. <laughs> 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 Who's the guy with the <laughs> nine emojis? Ariel, what emoji grade are you giving the Chicago Cubs? <laughs> the Chicago Cubs get a party emoji uh, because yeah. the season's not over yet. You could have. Put the kibosh on this whole season if you're Chicago. They go out and get a third baseman in Jammer Candelario, who had four hits yesterday, three home runs shy of his career high in home runs. We still have two months left of the season. A month ago, the Cubs had a 6% chance of making the playoffs. Wow. Now it's up to 29%. You've got hot bats like your shortstop, Dansby Swanson, back, hitting over 300 since coming off the IL. I love that Chicago was a buyer at the deadline. Plus, I do have the over 77 and a half wins. Yeah. Vested Party. interest. <laughs> Party at Ariel's house after the season. Al. I All see right. so many emojis. All right, so we're only what doing do you, the what, happy? What grade are you happy having? for now? Texas. X. What do you <laughs> think this was? Duda, duda. We're going down to the Metroplex. Duda, duda. All right, so, yeah. Uh, listen, I, I got Houston. I got Verlander. I know what that means. But for the Texas Rangers to be doing what they've been doing since uh, acquiring or, or for the signing of, of Seeger and Simeon, and now what this front office had done to trade for Max Scherzer, uh, Montgomery coming in as another starting pitcher, Stratton with the Cardinals as well comes over, uh, Heim ha has a little injury, they pick up Austin Hedges, like a lot to be excited about. And I know this is going to be really fun for us to watch uh, the AL West down the stretch, with I think mostly it will happen will we'll be Houston and the Rangers just fighting it out. Over, Starting. under... Right on the number of times you've used that cowboy emoji. One. One. This right now. X, have you ever time. used the cowboy emoji? I've never used that cowboy emoji ever in my entire life. But I I, have. people have used it towards me. I like it. I'm not I'm not hating on the emoji. I think the most important thing is your son wasn't traded either. They were able to get some moves and they weren't able to they didn't have to trade your son over there in Texas. So I think that's good. Yes, it is. I was, I was happy for him as well. You know what? I know we're going to sidebar here. We got, what, about 45 minutes? But <laughs> So emojis, I'm obviously older than all of you, and I am always aware, X, that people of my age and maybe not as experienced with this stuff, I always know whether I should go down the emoji route or not because I do think they're fun. But I also text people and they're like, what are you doing with emojis? And I'll just keep it clean. But... Uh, <laughs> But they think it's creepy. Uh, I mean, it might be an the emoji, emoji selection. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's fun. What do you got, X? We, didn't, we don't know about his app. Hey, use it's, it's as many to... emojis as you want. I, uh, I like older right. people. I'm not, and I'm not calling you old. <laughs> I like at every age using emojis. I got okay? it. I got X, it. I, think you you just have I like older age. people. Just... My emojis usually got the beer. I like the beer Stein mug thing. Old That's old. a good one. Like okay, cheers. You go hang. Cheers. Emojis are great as long as you stay away from the produce aisle. X, twins, what emoji are you giving them? <laughs> well, first of all, I'm normally sending an emoji to LG, the one where the guy's got a green face he's about to throw up because I'm like, <laughs> you make me sick. Yeah. But this time I'm using an emoji for the twins. That's kind of just like, huh? Like, I, we just didn't get it because I thought that this was a team that with two games ahead in their division that they were going to do something special. And by the way, that's not my actual emoji. I think my emoji is new. It's a new face that kind of has that, sh he's like shaking, but he's kind of like, what's happening? Uh, maybe it didn't go in through. Wait, uh, why don't you, you can mark. act it out. I want to see you act it out. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, <laughs> like, like you're in a, like you're in a whirlwind of something. I think it, honestly, it's one of the newer emojis I've seen. Maybe I got a new iOS or whatever, <laughs> but I'm, I'm confused with the twins. Like, why mm -hmm. not go get somebody at least, whether it be in the bullpen. Okay, you're straight with the, the starters. Go get somebody in the bullpen. They could have used some offense as well. I, I just, I was confused because I feel like this team has already been all in 
going and getting Correa this past offseason, and we see a good, a really good rotation, I thought they could have added. Now, now I, we're, I don't know where we're at. All right, but here, let me throw it back at you because I'm with you. And it, again, it, it's the Central, AL Central. You look at what the Indians did by Savali going to Tampa, right? Uh, Rosario. We call them the Guardians now. We call them the <laughs> Guardians. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. <laughs> Canceled. There you go. You just said the old guy. The <laughs> Guardians. <laughs> Ah, I gosh. wasn't going to do it. All right, how about Cleveland? Cleveland. Cleveland. But no, but maybe yeah. X. I know when it comes to uh, to uh, the, the bringing on payroll and how does it look and the whole algorithm, Yeah. is it something that they looked at the Indians maybe going the, you know, flat <laughs> that I don't have to do anything? I don't know. <laughs> Said Indians again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the algorithm, it's getting you, and we're already an hour and 15 minutes. How about if I say the Browns? <laughs> the <laughs> Cleveland Browns. Browns. <laughs> the cl- the- uh, I don't think you could say that either. <laughs> what, the Cleveland Browns? They haven't been canceled yet. Okay, we're going rapid about the fire Cavaliers? style now. Ariel, <laughs> I know you are a Baltimore Orioles fan. Mm. Which emoji are you grading their trade deadline moves with? My favorite emoji is this one, because this is all I wanted to do when I watched Uh, the Orioles all day yesterday. I just sunk into my couch. Jack Flaherty? Yes. The Baltimore Orioles were the team everybody was looking out for. What are the Orioles going to do yesterday? They end up with the number three pitcher in a righty Jack Flaherty. The Orioles needed a number one, an even one and a half. If the Orioles were able to get Verlander, Cease, you've got a number one. Maybe Verlander said no. Whether he did or not, the Orioles didn't get the job done. They didn't get better. They stayed the same. Baltimore is the 15th ranked ERA amongst all baseball teams. In the odds for the AL, Baltimore has the fourth shortest odds. They are still in the odds worse than the Rangers, the Astros, and the Rays. If Baltimore got a number one, I bet you they could have gone past Texas in the odds because they are number one in the AL East, the toughest division in the American League, arguably. They didn't get better. They just stayed the same. And I mean, that's what really bothered me about Baltimore. Do you think Jack Flaherty's still staying the same? I get it, though. I At get least it. They did. So it's here. Melting. You have so many. So this emotions. one. Which one is this? I, Ariel, we're, like, <gasps> we're aligning too much. Oh, you can X, can, can you see this? Very nice think alike. So a couple things that I want to do. And I know I cheated on this uh, segment because that's... this applies to what were the Yankees and the and the Red Sox, mm-hmm. like, what, what were they? Was there something in the hopper that the time ran out? <laughs> and I think it, it. This is similar to what the Orioles did. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, you know, whether right. Verlander wanted to go there or not, I don't think he did. I, I, I really don't. So we take him off. But did they? We don't know. But did they aggressively? I go with you. Yeah, I, I don't want our like, glass I half empty. You I held it up a certain it. way. I know the argument. I what you did. The, I know no, the I argument is not wanting to give up prospects. Orioles fans are so excited. The O's oh. didn't give up prospects. I have grown up a Yankees fan for my whole life. I have waited a decade for the Yankees to get these prospects up to the majors, not named Aaron Judge, that they waited so long not getting a big free agent, not getting a big person at the trade deadline because they didn't want to give up any of their key pieces in the minor league system. Where did it put the Yankees? But do we know, Ariel, we're not in the room. Do we know the package of what the White Sox were asking for from the Orioles? Was it a crazy uh, prospect package? How come come the Astros and the Dodgers and the Angels, how come everybody was able to get something to make them better? They got Jack Flaherty. It's not better. You're the same. You're just a little deeper. You're you're helping. You're helping. uh, No. What? You don't think That's you think that Jack Flaherty's moving the needle? Okay, what happened with their odds? He doesn't hurt. Nothing. You said he, nothing happened to the odds. They're adding, still in the odds worse than the other three teams I named. They didn't get any better in the odds. The Rays are still no, in front they of def- them. They they definitely got better. Um, you look at any time you can add something to the rotation that ultimately helps out everybody else in that rotation. Gives you length more now, and you have an opportunity to bolster the bullpen as well. Like I understand that you didn't get the top guy, one of the top guys available, but at the same time. Jack Flaherty is a guy that we've seen. He can have flashes of being able to get swing and flashes. miss. Flashes. That's that's yeah, but that's what you. That's Who's what your you number one in a playoff game? Dean Kramer coming back off the, Tommy John surgery. 
I, but you still look at it at this point, everybody is going to be just as important now. You don't have the number one that you wish you had, but still you have such a large window to win. I think the po important thing for me was don't give up that window, especially when you're talking about prospects like Jackson Holiday. Um, you don't want to give up those types of guys to me for a rental or you know, somebody that's not going to be there for a good amount of time. I look at the Orioles and I'm like, I'm okay with what you did because the window might be next year. It could be the year after that. For sure and it I is. I think they're going to have opportunity. It's not this year. It's hey, definitely X, not I'm not sure year. about the emoji that you were talking about, but I'm going to give this to Ariel because I think this is more of her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's doing the melt thing. Yep. This is, <laughs> I, I, this this is melting me. down. No, that's this her. This is melting down as an O's fan. She Just is. an angry, <laughs> angry, sink in the chair. No one in Baltimore is happy. They're just happy that they didn't lose any of their minor league prospects. Fine. You're not winning a World Series this year. Congratulations. You might win the ILDS. Look at you. Wow. Xavier but think about the expectations at the beginning of the season. Like oh, for so you Orioles overachieved. Fans, That's enough? Don't you no, want to win I'm more? If you, if you, at the beginning of the season, if you're like, okay, we're going to be, you know, third place or whatever, have a fighting chance for the wild card. You think about just being in the postseason would be great for them and not having to give anything I up. I think about now winning. You, the, I win it all. I don't do this whole are, let me just make it. In, like, no, no, no. My whole mindset, no, I, I win I everything. I understand that. But think about what they've already done with their rotation. They've been one of the best teams in baseball with the rotation that they have. Who says that they won't be able to continue doing the same thing into the postseason? Who We don't know, Experience. especially with that offense. X, X, you want to talk about expectation. The expectations were sky high for the San Diego Padres going into the season. They did make some moves at the deadline. Which emoji are you giving A.J. Preller? Yeah, I gave him the one with the eyes are like, kind of like, <laughs> whoa. Because, it, and the, the reason why I did blush. that is because we understood that they were all in, but it's almost like at this point, they're continuing to keep going. They're, they're putting the foot on the gas pedal, going, getting G-Man Choi. I thought that was a big move because you get somebody to face righties that it does a really nice job against right-handed pitchers. We understand Cronenworth has struggled a little bit this season, um, bringing in Rich Hill, another starter, to give you more depth in that rotation, more options. Um, and then going, getting Cooper over there from... Uh, 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 what was it, the Marlins, Marlins or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, so I think about you add, and then Scott Barlow with Kansas City, you add another good arm in that in that bullpen. To me, it was almost like, whoa, it surprised me because I knew that they were going to add, but it was like, now it seems like they've done all they can do. It's just about putting, pl playing, getting wins on the field now. The players have nothing to complain about because they have all the pieces. Now it's just go get it done. Yeah, speaking of pieces, uh, I have a lot of emojis here because I want to yeah, throw. I want to throw my proverbial hat in the ring, and I'm going to borrow one of your emojis, Outlier. We are saluting the Lone Star State because both teams, in my opinion, picked up mm. huge pieces in order to make legitimate postseason runs. I guess the future will be decided by how these two teams play. Now, on the other side. Uh, we're going with the freezing, the ice cold emoji <laughs> for the Cincinnati Reds, who were just kind of frozen out of the deadline, causing their fans to sweat it out. Ooh. Just a half game lead yeah. there this is a story. in the NL Central. Super I know. Creative. I just, you know, I'm one of those people who I don't send actual like words and texts. I just send a series Are you of mad emojis. About anything today? I'm not mad about anything. I meditated this I morning. I knew she was going to say that. And I'm actually, I'm feeling. I clearly did not. <laughs> Ariel, you can take this home with you. When you're I on should. the subway, you can just show that to people. Oh, that's what I look like. That is what I look and, like. And, yeah, no, so I'm in the mode of hourglass half full.